Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Pisces. How the heck are you, huh? How's it going, Pisces? I hope everything is going well. We're going to jump right into this and we're going to throw some cards for Pisces. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it's always worked. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. We're going to talk about it as I clarify it and I will sew together a story for you, okay? So come on in and let's see what's going on for Pisces. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Pisces here with me, Spirit. And Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces? And what does Pisces need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Tell me where the stopping point is for Pisces. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Spirit, what? Ooh, right there. Does Pisces need to know? All right, let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. All right, bottom of the deck is the crown chakra. Interesting. We'll set that aside. So, bottom of the deck is heartache and loss with the three of swords, harmony with the lovers, and celebration, rejoice and celebration with the three of cups. All right, we'll set those right over there. All right, let's see. First card out the box. These cards are all supposed to be meant to written. <laughs> these cards are also these cards are meant to be read in the upright. So we'll read all of these in the upright. And then we'll do the clarifying cards like normal. So the spiritual strength with the nine of wands, triumphant success with the ace of swords and new beginnings with the fool. And then the waiting game with the two of wands. Reju recognition and reward with the three of pentacles. Prosperity begins with the Ace of Pentacles. Material harvest with the Nine of Pentacles. Spiritual union with the Two of Cups. And patience with temperance. Temperance to partnerships and alliances with the Three of Wands. The Shadow with the Moon. Firm foundation with the Four of Pentacles. Choose wisely with the Seven of Cups. Stand your ground with the Seven of Swords and move on with the Six of Swords. Fantastic. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Look, look, look. We have the Empress and the Sun as well. Nice. Uh-huh, look, we got the Devil and Accelerated Motion. Interesting. All right, we'll stop with that. We'll stop with that. We got to stop somewhere. That's where we'll stop. All right, let's do this Pisces let's see what the heck we're talking about here all right Pisces this is what's going on okay this is what's happening so you are going to get two different offers two different offers from two different entities okay all right. First card out is spiritual strength with the nine of wands right here. What this is telling you is that the, the cards are highly advising you to tap into your spiritual strength. Okay, they are. This is the nine of wands, resilience, persistence, fighting the good fight. You're going to need to draw on your ancient soul's wisdom in order to make it through this particular situation in your life successfully. All right. And it's there. It's available. It's the same ancient soul from back in the day, the same soul that's going to to take you on to your next adventure when your body dies is the same soul that lives in you right now. Read my book. It explains it all. OK, it's the same soul that lives inside of you. It's leading you. It's guiding you. It's trying to show you the objective of life. Like I just said in the Taurus reading, 
The objective of life is to merge your flesh and blood experience with your soul. That is the way to live the most successful, peaceful, happiest life that you can possibly imagine, is to merge your flesh and, blo flesh and blood experience into your soul's guidance. So your soul can lead you in this lifetime to your best and highest good. Simple as that, okay? But most people are divided. They got their soul over here, their intuition, their guts, the signs and synchronicities that if you're not in touch with your soul, you miss, right? And then over here, we have our human nature and our flesh nature. And most people live in one or the other, and most people fluctuate back and forth, right? All of us have intuition. All of us have felt it at some point. But this flesh and bone experience over here is so delicious that we ignore this over here, okay? So, spiritual strength. You're going to have to pull on your soul's understanding of things. Why? Princess of Cups. Because you're getting a message. You're getting two opportunities, Pisces. The world. The universe says, source, spirit, whatever, says that this choice that you're going to have to make is either going to close down a cycle of your life and open the door for a new phase of your life, or you're going to repeat the same cycle again. And that's what this whole relationship is about right here. It's about do you choose what you know is in your best and highest good, or do you choose what you wish was in your best and highest good? And that's what this whole reading is about, okay? So the world card says it's time to close it down. Tap into your soul's understanding because you have to, you have to choose. The ace of swords, okay? This is saying triumphant success is going to be found in your mind. What is that triumphant success? It's the aha, crystal clear understanding that the new beginning and the new journey of your life with this, this root fool card right here um, is not this journey of your life with that fool right there. Okay, the aha moment is when you see it all crystal clear and it gels in front of you and you're like, ah, nope, I'm going that way. I'm going that way. I'm not going that way. I'm going that way. Okay, what's going on here? Well, this new beginning, this, this, this good beginning for you, okay, is a cycle closure, which means you've learned what you need to learn, you're applying your spirituality, you're flexing your soul muscles, and you're following your intuition and your guidance, and you're making good, solid decisions in your life based upon critical self-analysis and how you're not going to do things the way that you used to do things and how your new enlightenment and your spirituality is leading you in a different direction in your life. Mm-hmm. True. True, true, true. What's the problem here? Well, this opportunity with this fool right here is also a new beginning. Okay? It's also a new beginning. Um, it is uh, the Three of Swords. It is, um, it has in the past. Okay, this is someone from your past. Um, it has in the past caused you grief and sorrow and pain. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse says it was a gigantic waste of your time. And the Six of Cups in reverse talks about being stuck in the past with unreconciled personal issues, your own issues, not the person's issues, not the situations, the circumstances, your own deep-rooted childhood wounding issues that you have or have not dealt with yet. The Pisces who has dealt with these wounded issues will recognize this person from their past that is coming back is just as unhealed as they used to be, and they will choose the path of their best and highest good because their energy no longer vibes with this person's energy. The unhealed Pisces is going to gravitate back towards the past because unhealed attracts unhealed. Okay? 
that's what this is all about. Are you the healed Pisces or are you the unhealed Pisces? If you're the healed Pisces, there's a brand new beautiful future ahead of you. If you're an unhealed Pisces, the past is coming back and you're going to snap at it like a bass on bait. Mm-hmm. 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 The King of Wands. The King of Wands goes to the, the root fool. This is success. Your success in life, in this new phase, in this new cycle of your life, will be found in the healedness of your understanding of why this person from your past is not viable. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, why it's a waste of your time, okay? But the unhealed Pisces, it's going to be all over it. All right. The Two of Wands, this is the crossroads. This is the crossroads right here. This is your future. You can step to the left or you can step to the right. It's totally up to you. No harm, no foul. If you want to just go through a whole nother cycle of unhealedness again, if you need that, then by all means do it. But if you choose your unhealedness over your healing, then you are going to step into something bigger, better, and greater than you could have possibly imagined. All right? The crossroads with the two of wands right there. What's the crossroads? The two of cups. That's, you, you're going to have a relationship here, Pisces. This is about a relationship, a love relationship. And you're going to have a relationship. The question is, is who are you going to have the relationship with? Someone that is unhealed from your past or the emperor. Someone who is healed just like you are, Pisces. That's your choice. Recognition and reward with the three of pentacles. Your reward for healing, tapping into your soul, your reward from the universe. And it's not like they give you a treat. It's just that, that, that barriers disintegrate. Energetic attraction, frequency, right? We're all frequency, all frequency. And your frequency attracts the same frequency, okay? So you want to make sure you're vibing high, you're vibing high, Pisces, not low vibrational, unhealed, wounded kind of stuff. High, healed vibration. A wound is a wound is a wound, and it is a low vibration. I mean, from a rotting stalk of celery in the refrigerator to, um, to a dying animal in the woods. A wound is a wound is a wound, and it's low vibrational. Okay, it's dying. So clean out why it is that you're attracted to this person from your past. See what it is that you need to shut down about yourself and push forward because you got an emperor waiting for you in a two of cups relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Recognition and reward to the wheel of fortune. This is the turning point, just like the world. The Pisces who chooses to go with the original Fool card, okay? The Pisces who chooses to not go back to the past and to take the other new, brand new opportunity is the Pisces that is going to be presented with a massive turning point in their life. It is the divinely orchestrated steps of your path. The universe will only divinely orchestrate the best and highest good for your life. It's the Akashic Records, Pisces. It is. That is, the Akashic Records is what it would be if you would let your soul guide you. Right? Right? It's always in your best and highest good. But the Akashic Records is filled with all of these strings that go all over the place because the silly human can't mesh their soul with their human existence. Prosperity begins with the Ace of Pentacles. Brand new ground. Look at that card right there. Brand new ground to grow brand new seeds of prosperity in your life. That is what is being offered to you. Justice, and it's in your best interest. It's in your best interest to see that it's in your best interest to be accountable for your soul's path and not just your human wants. Material harvest with the Nine of Pentacles. Independent, self-sufficient material harvest. Okay, I'm going to explain this to you. Hold on. The Two of Cups to the Ten of Cups. 
and then we have Patience to the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So in this Nine of Pentacles, what I'm seeing is a Pisces who has free will, a Pisces who is in a position to make a very important decision about their lives. They are either going to choose to rebuild on the foundation of the crumbled tower of this past relationship. The tower says there is no foundation. There was no foundation. Why was there no foundation to ever build with this person from your past? Because they are unhealed. You cannot build a solid, stable, steady foundation on unhealed emotions. You just can't. It collapses. It collapses. So you're either going to choose to step into the rubble again, Prince of Swords, or you're going to wrap your mind, Ace of Swords up there, around an understanding and execute it in your life. The Three of Wands with some foresight for your future to the Six of Swords and leave behind all of the mental baggage, the unhealed wounds that the Pisces who chooses to not go back to the past, again, is healing or healed or being healed or on their way to much better things, right? Six of Swords, leave behind all of the mental garbage from this past relationship and see that there is so much better in your future. The Two of Cups, Spiritual Union, and the Ten of Cups. Everything you ever wanted, Pisces. What you have to ask yourself is, is this person from your past everything that you ever wanted? That's what you got to ask yourself about anybody from your past. Actually, even the current people that you're with right now, okay? If there is something missing in the relationship and you are deficient somehow, satisfaction, emotional fulfillment, intellectual stimulation, whatever your thing is, okay, security. If something is missing in your current relationship, ask yourself, can you live the whole rest of your life without that part of your being being fulfilled? If the answer is yes, that is a clear indication that you have unhealed emotional woundings because a healed person would never, ever, ever exchange part of their well-being for the tolerance of someone else's inability to meet the bar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your person, past, present, future, might be loving you as much as they possibly can. Your person might love you, Pisces. They might love you, love you, love you. But your person is only loving you to the best of their possible capacity and ability. And ask yourself, if your person is loving you right now to the best of their ability, is that good enough for you? It is. And if you decide that, yes, I'm going to compromise my emotional needs or my physical needs or my inspirational needs for the other things that this person gives me, then that's fine and dandy. But go into it never expecting anything more than what you've already gotten from the relationship. Don't expect anything more. This person has already shown you who they are. You know who this person is. Do not go into this expecting this person to fit into the box that you need them to be because they cannot. They cannot. So if you choose to go back to the past, go back to the past exactly at face value as you see it right now because you will never get anything more than what you have already gotten from this person. For those of you have, who have decided that this person from your past has nothing to offer you, you are about to step into an absolutely fabulous relationship, Pisces. Patience with 14. This is temperance, right? Being tempered. Tempering what? The nine of swords. The anxiety in your mind. Maybe not slept a lot. The anxiety in your mind about this person coming back from the past. Temper yourself, queen of cups, and know your worth. Know your worth. Know who you are, what you believe, and how it is you want your life to be. Calm, cool, collected, 
pulled together, emotionally mature, and most importantly, healing. Because partnership is on its way to you, and you have two choices. You're either going to take an offer from someone in your past, or you are going to take an offer from this emperor right here. And I would not be surprised if they happen within seven days of each other, okay? All right, so if you get this offer from the past, okay, partnerships and alliances. Look, eight of swords, eight of swords, nine of swords, all tied up in your head. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. The shadow, you wish, you wish that this person could be who it is that you want them to be. The, the moon card is the proverbial Achilles heel of the human experience. It's always about, it's always between what we wish was the truth and what we really don't want to accept as the truth. Okay, you wish that this person from your past could be your future, but you know that that's not true. The, the spiritual strength at the beginning of this that's going to close this cycle is for you to be true to that, for you to be true to your inner knowledge that you know that this person is not capable of being who you need them to be because they are unhealed. Okay, four of pentacles, pull it together. Pull it together, Seven of Cups, and choose very wisely, Pisces. Choose wisely. Everything is at stake here. Who knows how long this world card's going to last, whether it's the new cycle or a repeat of the old cycle. How long is it going to last? No one knows. It just depends on how we all act, right? Choose wisely. Five of Swords in reverse and let go of a white knuckle grip on a win at all cost kind of mindset. And that's what you have with this person in the past. Oh, he's coming back or she's coming back. Maybe it's better now. I can fix him. I can fix him. I can sacrifice myself. Please, Pisces. Please. 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 Stand your ground with the Seven of Swords. You stand your ground with this person from the past. You do. And tell them the truth. Say, so you know what? I've grown, I've changed, and I've healed some of my issues. And you might want to think about doing the same thing. And move on with the Six of Swords. Stand your ground and move on. Answer the call of the moon. Understand what the truth is versus what you wish the truth was. Okay? Boom. Empress to the emperor. You coming to terms with this, now that I'm looking at this, I bet this opportunity from the past comes first. This is going to come first, and as you are mulling this over, um, this new opportunity is going to come in, and you're going to have to choose between two roads. Or this particular Pisces is already healed, already over, and when this person comes back from the past, they just crack up and hysterically laugh and hang up the phone, right? <laughs> right? You understanding your growth and not compromising yourself for something from the past puts you in the power of the Empress. Power of the Empress to the Emperor. And it opens the door, guess what? For your purpose and your path with 17 to the devil. Don't be tempted. Don't be tempted, Pisces. Don't be tempted by the old devil from the past, okay? The, the nothing, the other side, the other side of all of this love and light and rainbow stuff, right, is darkness. And they don't want you to heal. They don't want you to close this cycle out because as you become awakened and enlightened, they, you become a threat. You become a threat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Don't be tempted. Look, the alchemist. The old devil's trying to trick you. Mm -hmm. They're trying to use your own subconscious blockages, your woundings against you to keep you repeating over and over and over again the same bullshit in your life. And the, the, uh, the star, the wheel of fortune, and the world says if you will choose a different direction, you will step into a massive, massive turning point in an emperor, empress, spiritual, soulmate kind of connection. Again, does that mean it's forever and always, amen? No, nobody can tell you that. And if anybody ever tells you from a psychic person kind of way that, oh, it's going to be forever, 
that's bullshit because nobody knows, not even the universe, because it depends on how a person acts. It depends on how you act. It depends on how they act, whether the whole thing is going to go forever and always amen or not. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep doing what you always done, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're just going to keep getting what you always got. This person is the same unhealed, wounded person that you left in the past before. And that Eight of Wands says, carry on, carry on, push forward, movement, action, change, go, 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 Pisces, go into the future, don't repeat the past. Bottom of the deck, Princess of Pentacles clarifying the Three of Cups. Rejoice in celebration. There is a new opportunity about to pop in your life. Look, the lovers. It's energetic attraction. It's frequency. Like attracts like. Your healed frequency is attracting a healed person into your life. The emperor is healed. The empress is healed. Mm -hmm. And then you got the three of swords thinking heartache and loss and grief and sorrow and pain that you've carried in your mind about this situation from your past right here that's your battleground your mind is your battleground pisces and look on the bottom of the deck deck when i first took it all out is the crown chakra this is your head this is your mind it's the way that you think about yourself about your life about everything heal pisces and don't keep repeating the same wounded bullshit right and if you are a pisces who has healed the, your future looks absolutely freaking fantastic emperor empress soulmate new cycle path purpose new beginnings divinely orchestrated turning points the ten of cups the two of cups the lovers i mean it's beautiful it's a beautiful relationship mm -hmm. but it needs the grown Pisces and the healed Pisces, not the unhealed Pisces, okay? All right, if you guys need your cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. Read my book. Namaste. Who do you think you are? A step-by-step -step guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you've been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will walk through the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose, with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. All of the links are in the box below. Namaste.